Are you a man who once said death smiles at us all? All a man can do is smile back. I wonder, did your friend smile at his own death? You must know. He was your father. You loved my father, I know. But so did I. That makes us brothers, doesn't it? Smile for me now, brother. <coughs> Strap on his armor. Conceal the wound. Released on May 5th, 2000, Gladiator, a standout in the sword and sandal genre, not only became a box office hit, but also revitalized the ancient epic film genre. The movie earned multiple awards, including five Oscars, notably Best Picture and Best Actor for Russell Crowe. Our video includes insights into the actor's present day looks and their endeavors post Gladiator, along with fun facts about the filming process and the actors themselves as a bonus at the video's end. This video is created as a tribute to this epic film, and we aim to provide updates on the actor's current appearances and their ventures since the movie's release. Stay tuned because at the end of this video, you'll find a bonus with some fun facts about the shooting and the actors. Russell Crowe as Maximus Decimus Meridius Father to a murdered son, husband to a murdered wife, and I will have my vengeance in this life or the next. And I said to him, very quietly, hello George, and uh, <laughs> he sort of put his head down and so sort of pushed into my chest a little bit, and I said, do you realize we won the Academy Award. <laughs> Russell Crowe, renowned as a prominent Hollywood actor, has expanded his talents into film production, directing, and music. He gained widespread acclaim through his role in the epic Gladiator and has amassed numerous accolades throughout his illustrious career. His diverse filmography spans genres, including projects like The Nice Guys, The Mummy, and Boy Erased, showcasing his versatility. Recently, he starred in Showtime's drama miniseries, The Loudest Voice, based on Gabriel Sherman's book. Crowe's multifaceted career highlights his adaptability and skill across various entertainment mediums. Joaquin Phoenix as Commodus Should they share her lover's fate? Or should I be merciful? Commodus the Merciful. Yeah, I don't know what, in, in the beginning, you're exhausted. Uh-huh. I mean, sometimes you look at a flight of stairs and it takes like 30 seconds, you have to talk yourself into it. Say like, I can do this, I know I can do this. Joaquin Rafael Phoenix stands as a multifaceted American talent, known not only for his acting prowess, but also for his activism in environmental and animal rights causes. Renowned for his versatility, his acting career boasts numerous prestigious awards, notably marked by his acclaimed role in Gladiator. Continuing his impact, Phoenix has left an indelible mark in films like Don't Worry, He Won't Get Far on Foot, Mary Magdalene, and the chilling portrayal of the iconic villain in Joker, earning widespread acclaim. His directorial ventures in music videos and production work underscore his versatility. Most recently, his compelling performance in the Mike Mills drama, Come On, Come On, underscores his commitment to diverse and impactful roles in cinema. Connie Nielsen as Lucilla. I am tired of being strong. My brother hates all the world, and you most of all. Honestly, I had so much fun on this film. I just enjoyed every single moment of it. I was working out every day. You might be amused to know that pop star and actress Jennifer Lopez auditioned for the role of Lucilla, sister of Commodus and former lover of Maximus, before it went to Connie Nielsen. The 2,000-year-old ring worn by Nielsen in the film was found by the actress in an antique store. Nielsen went on to give great performances in One Hour Photo and The Ice Harvest. 
She also starred in the short-lived television series Boss. Up until last year, Nielsen dated Metallica drummer Lars Ulrich, and the pair have had a son together. Derek Jacobi as Senator Gratches. I think he knows what Rome is. Rome is the mob. It'll conjure magic for them and they'll be distracted. There was nothing in my background. Uh, I was an only child. Nothing in my background, my family, to suggest anything to do with. A veteran theater actor, Derek Jacobi, played the role of Senator Gratchus, a man openly opposed to Commodus. Prior to Gladiator, Jacobi had starred in a few films for Kenneth Branagh, including Hamlet. Jacobi recently starred in the ITV series Vicious as one half of a bickering gay couple opposite none other than Sir Ian McKellen. Jaiman Hamzu as Juba. Die soon. They will not die for many years. That you is, don't get you know, sleep, yeah. You don't get any sleep at all. Yeah. And but I'm really excited about um, um, really creating a foundation which uh, he could leverage himself. You know, uh, you know, growing up. Uh, you know. A former model who starred in music videos with Paula Abdul and Janet Jackson, Jaiman Hanzu garnered acclaim for his role in Steven Spielberg's Amistad before signing to play Juba, a man sold into slavery who becomes Maximus' closest ally. Recently, Hansu went on to star in Push and Blood Diamond. He dated fellow former model Kimora Lee Simmons for several years. The pair had a son together before splitting in 2012. Tomas Arana as General Quintus. Look at me! Promise me that you will look after my family. Your family will meet you in the afterlife. Tomas Serrano, known for his classical theater background, ventured into film with roles in movies like The Bodyguard and The Hunt for Red October, before making an impact as General Quintus in Gladiator. In recent times, he showcased his diverse acting range in Limitless, starring alongside Bradley Cooper and Robert De Niro. Additionally, his role as Bruce Wayne's lawyer in The Dark Knight Rises further highlighted his versatility, showcasing his ability to adaptly tackle varied characters across different film genres. Spencer Treat Clark as Lucius Verus Gladiator, are you the one they call the Spaniard? Yes. My, I grew up on Die Hard, um, and he's just, he's, he's so cool. Like he, um, there's a scene right at the beginning where we run a security store together in the movie. Spencer Tree Clark embarked on his acting journey with notable roles in films like Arlington Road and Double Jeopardy as a child actor, before portraying Lucius Verus, Lucilla's son in Gladiator. Unlike many child actors, Clark smoothly transitioned into adulthood while sustaining a thriving acting career. In recent years, he has further solidified his presence in the film industry, starring in two films released in the same year, The Last Exorcism Part II and Much Ado About Nothing. These diverse roles underscore his versatility and dedication to a varied range of characters. Ralph Muller as Hagen Und der hatte mir einen Kontakt zu Menachem Golan gegeben in Los Angeles, beziehungsweise äh, eine Telefonnummer. Äh, in Verbindung musste ich mit ihm selbst gehen, als ich dann in Kalifornien war für einen Gastauftritt. Ralph Rudolf Muller established himself as a German actor and former bodybuilder. Beyond Gladiator, he displayed his acting skills in movies like The Scorpion King. Continuing in the film industry, Muller remained active, notably appearing in the 2014 action thriller Sabotage and making a comeback to the big screen in 2020 with the movie Breach. His enduring presence and versatility showcase Muller's ongoing commitment to his craft as an actor. Tommy Flanagan as Cicero Sometimes I 
Sometimes I do what I want to do. The rest of the time, I do what I have to. I DJ'd till I was like 24, 25, and then uh, I went to a knife fight without a knife, and I ended up looking like this, and they put holes on me. Tommy Flanagan earned acclaim for his role as Maximus's loyal friend Cicero in Gladiator, propelling him into the spotlight. He solidified his reputation through a memorable performance in the acclaimed series Sons of Anarchy. Alongside Gladiator, Flanagan's career boasts diverse roles, including portraying Tolk in Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2 and appearing in Korn's Rotting in Vain music video in 2016. His versatile talent continued to shine in television, notably in the series Westworld, reaffirming his success across both film and TV platforms. David Schofield as Senator Falco The mob sees this, and so do the Senate. Every day he lives, they grow bolder. Kill him. No! Um, uh, the need for change, and, uh, and on a very major and very poignant level. David Schofield made significant television appearances in shows like Band of Gold, Footballers' Wives, and Holby City, leaving an impression in the TV realm. In cinema, he's notably recognized for his role as Ian Mercer in the beloved Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, portraying a character handling less savory tasks for the aristocracy. His recent work includes roles in series like The Adventures of Paddington and Shakespeare and Hathaway Private Investigators. Schofield's career showcases his versatility and skill across both television and film, solidifying his impact in both realms of entertainment. Giorgio Cantarini as the son of Maximus. <laughs> well, uh, Life is Beautiful was, of course, a very important movie for me and uh, and also for Italy, for, for our... For everybody, uh, for the whole world. <laughs> yeah, for the world, yeah. <laughs> Italian actor Giorgio Cantarini gained recognition as a child actor, notably portraying Maximus's son in Gladiator. He continued his acting journey with roles in the film In Love and War in 2001. Transitioning beyond acting, Cantarini demonstrated his versatility by participating in Bolando con la Stelle, Italy's version of Dancing with the Stars, during its second season in 2005. His foray into multiple artistic realms showcased his diverse talents in both acting and dancing, highlighting his versatility across different domains. As the sands of time settle, we bid adieu to the extraordinary cast of Gladiator, revisiting their remarkable journeys then and now. From the triumphant tales of valor on the screen to their diverse ventures off screen, these actors have left an indelible mark on the realms of entertainment. Did your favorite Gladiator cast members' post-film journey surprise you? Share your thoughts on their transformations or enlighten us with your standout moments from this timeless epic in the comments below. If you found this exploration of the Gladiator's cast evolution fascinating, don't forget to show your support by smashing that like button and sharing this video with fellow fans of cinematic history. For more captivating insights into your beloved movie stars and their iconic roles, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. Thank you for joining us on this tribute to the epic masterpiece that is Gladiator and the incredible talent that brought it to life.